grace is gained righteousness at Christ's expense. The grace of God is not generic. There is a dimension of grace. Grace is God choosing to bless us rather than curse us as our sin deserves. From Latin, price paid. Mercy is loving the unlovable and forgiving the unforgivable. So the grace of God gives you the ability to accept, to act, to appreciate, and to adore Christ. Realizing that forgiveness is setting a prisoner free and discovering that that prisoner is me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, dear God. It's a beautiful Sunday today, and it's Father's Day. Maligayang araw na mga ama. Kay Brother John at lahat ng mga tatay na narito ngayon. Teka, iskan ko ang ating kay la Brother Bob. Uh, at nako pag inisa-isa ko pala, mauubos ang oras natin. Happy Daddy's Day sa mga leon. Sa mga leon ng tahanan. At uh, dahil tayo leon ng tahanan, Bawal tayo magsampay ngayon, maglaba, magkula, mamlansya, lahat-lahat. It's our Father's Day. May immunity tayo. Praise God. Let's give the Lord a big hand, everybody. Because we dictate what's gonna happen to us within the week. I want to remind you, nakakalimutan, that Sunday is always the first day of the week. So we start the week with so much strength in the Lord. Praise God. We thank you, Jesus. And I would like to greet the 36,000 people in Zoom. And uh, let's see, 25,000 people in, uh, I mean, in 36,000 people in Facebook Live and 25,000 people in Zoom. We will pray today our favorite prayer in the feast. Wait, hold on, huh? Uh, adjust ko lang ating slides. Praise you, Jesus. We thank you, dear God. We thank you, dear Lord. <laughs> Woo, we praise you. We honor you. Thank you, Brother Carl. Uh, sa paglilid sa atin sa worship, he is ever, ever, always the anointed worship leader that we know. We continue today our series uh, titled Side A, Side B. We are now in talk number 10, and we come before the presence of God in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Lift up your hands to the Lord if that's... Uh, comfortable gesture for you as your way of consecrating your life, your yesterday's mercy. We will be met. All the mistakes and sins of the past will be met by the mercy of God today. And our present will be met by the love and miracles of Jesus Christ. And our future will be met by God's provision. As we declare, today I receive all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I'm God's beloved. I'm God's servant. I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, and everyone will say, Amen. God is a good God. And we honor God's word today. Join me in singing. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. We will be reading the scripture today. I will highlight it. Jesus called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn or you repent and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. We honor the Lord once more. Thy word is 
is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Let's give the Lord a big, big hand. We praise you. We honor your word, Lord. And we allow your word to transform us, to become better people, to become good people, to become the best of what we can be. To those who are employed, that you will become the best of employees and officers in your company. And to those who are employ employed, we declare that because you are there, the servant is of God is there in the company, that company will be blessed. And because you are there in that business, that business will be blessed. And because you are in that sports, even that sports, that sports will be blessed by God. So we continue on with our series, Excited Ako Ngayon, and we title it, Great and Simple. Palaging may pair po ang ating side A, side B, side A, side B. Great, simple. Ba? Kailan kaya nagiging great ang simple at ang simple great? Yun yung ating talakayan ngayon. And we have a very intriguing one big message. Nakaka-intriga ito. Ano kaya ito? Throw away the ladder. Throw away the ladder. Itapon niyang hagdan na yan. Ano ba yung hagdan na yan? Yan, pag-usapan natin. Ano ba ang hagdanang ito? Na kailangan iwaksi. Ang lalim na po na nagalog. Ano ang, ang, ano ang hagdanan na kailangan itapon? Yan. Discuss natin ito. Sabi ng scripture ngayon, Mike, Matthew 18 verse 1. At that time, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Abate ka, kahit pala sa alagad. Labindalawa na ito, pinaka-close kay Jesus, pinaka-mababait na nanaturing ang mga tao. Meron pa rin tanong na, Lord, ah, sino ba yung, ma- yung pinaka-astig sa kaharian ng Diyos? May ganyan tayo. Alam ninyo, I'm looking at 27 people in Zoom. Even the most uncompetitive person, at least uh, expressively, ha? kahit hindi sila competitive uh, in person, sa puso pwedeng competitive. Parang yung nangyayari, nagtanong sila, sino ba ang dakila sa kaharian ng Diyos? Sort of saying, can I be on top of the ladder? Ayan, doon pala galing yung ladder. Doon pala galing yung hagdan. Can I be the greatest? Parang ganun yung tinatanong ng mga alagad. Sino ba pinakamagaling na alagad? Sino ba pinakamatalinong alagad? Hindi naman natin masisi. Our, our, uh, even our educator, uh, education system will award those who are excelling, like first honor, second honor, third honor, first honorable mention, uh, second honorable mention, hindi masyadong mini-mention, tsaka honorable dismissal. <laughs> Yan eh, na-award yung mga on top of the ladder. I'm sure, alam nyo, may sarili ko mga kwentuhan sa mga attendees and servants ng Peace Valle Verde. Marami dito honor students ng elementary, high school, at college. I'm sure, pag may kilala kayo, pakitype sa chat box nang makita natin sino yung alam nyo mga honor student. Or, If you feel like sharing, uh, Brother Obet, magna cum laude ako dati. Sulat niyo lang. Trip lang. Oh, basahin ko mamaya. Parang honor student to si Sister Sonia, I think eh. At honor student din Sister Peachy. Basta sulat niyo lang yung mga hinahinala. Can I be on top of the ladder? Alam niyo, nagpunta ako sa isang probinsya dati. Nabasa ko sa isang libro. Ayaw ko maniwala. Siyempre, misyonaryo kung, kung ano-ano mga probinsya ang pinuntahan ko. Uh, parang sa ano, ayun, teka, may, nag, may nag-type na, sino kaya to? Brother Obed, Brother J, owners, <laughs> eh kami din yan ni Brother J. <laughs> Reyes family, ah, ang mga Reyes family, mga ano yan, mga owner students yan, I'm sure. Yan na, balik tayo dun sa probinsya. I think sa Pangasinan ko nakita, naghihintay ako ng talk ko, totoo pala. Totoo pala, yung mga batang kambing, pag nakakita ng kahit anong elevated na bagay. Yung punso, papatong sila doon. O kaya, merong, basta, kahit kariton na baliktad. Yung kambing, pupunta sa ibabaw, at lahat ng pupunta sa ibabaw, susuwagin niya pababa. Ang tawag sa game na to, ay king of the mountain. Yan. Maghanap kayo ng kambing, at makita kayo ng king of the mountain. Ayan, no? O, um, umaura pa yung kambing na to. 
may, yung mga kambing gusto nilang itulak pababa. At kailangan, pag natumba nila yung king of the mountain, siya na yung bagong king of the mountain. Marami siyang nakakalaban. At ganito yun. Minsan tayo parang ugaling kambing. <laughs> kailangan, pag sinong pinakamagaling gusto nating itumba, kung sinong pinakamaganda gusto nating itumba, alam nyo, everything is rooted from insecurity. Insecurity. Kaya sa mga magulang dito, especially dads, alam nyo, sa isa sa pinakamagandang libro na nabasa ko, ang tawag doon, Child Potential, ang sabi doon, to raise up kids with strong self-worth will be one of the greatest achievements of parents. Ang makapagpalaki ng mga batang matibay ang self-worth, hindi maingitin, secure sila, yan ay napakadakilang achievement. Pero this doesn't discount the reality that all of us have a goat inside us. <laughs> meron tayong, meron tayong kam, inner kambing na gusto makipagkompetensya, gusto makipagsuwagan. At hindi lang ngayon yan. Kaya nung panahon ni Kristo, nagkatanungan ng ganyan, kasi hindi lang ngayon na punong-puno ng hierarchy. Yung fraternity ko po, dati ang lakas ng seniority. May mga probinsya, mataas ang seniority. May mga kultura, mataas ang seniority. Sa South Asia, may isa sa mga, hindi ko lang sabihin ko anong bansa, na pinaglilingkuran ko, grabe ang lakas ng seniority. You cannot say negatively against elders. Tayo pangit din ako magsalita. Pero yung to oppose them, sometimes uh, even respectfully oppose them, hindi nila papayagan. Ganun din sa panahon ni Kristo. Ayan, presenting, presenting the hierarchy of the society during the ancient Jewish times. Siyempre, colonizing country ang mga Romano The, the Romans are the superpowers during that time. Kaya sila ang nasa on top of the mountain. They are the kings of the mountain. At sumunod na yon doon ang mga hari ng mga Hudyo, mga Jewish puppet leaders. Parang si Herod, puppet king yan. Next would be religious leaders and rich people. Diyan mo na makikita yung mga tinatawag na Pariseo, Saduceo, andyan lahat yan. Susunod na doon yung may kaya, may kayabang, ah, may kayabangan, may kay, kayamanan. Ang yan ang mga small entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs. At susunod, pinakamababa sa lahat, lahat mga may hirap, mga squatter, mga may sakit, mga may ketong at mga makasalanan. At kung noon-noon pa ganyan na ang sosyedad, guess what? Minana natin 'yan. Minana natin sa pinanggalingan ng ating relihiyon, minana natin, minana natin yung spirituality ng religion natin, minana pa rin natin 'yan. Climbing the ladder of success. It could be a corporate ladder, it could be an emotional ladder, sino ang pinaka pinaka gustong-gusto, sino yung A1 student, sino yung crush ng bayan. Wait, ilista niyo dito sa chat box natin yung mga kilala yung ano mga crush ng bayan. Sama natin yon Parang tingin ko, ikan Sister Bambi Honor Student. Sabi ko na nga ba, Sister Ain, Sister Gina Perer, Tito Bob Del Rosario, Sister Dom. Sabi ko na nga ba, ang daming student honors. Ang daming honor student sa Peace Valley. Ngayon naman, yung next na ipapachat ko sa inyo ay yung mga dating beauty queen. Eh, mga beauty queen. Mga nagagandahan. Parang, Parang pagkasabi nun, gumanon si Brother John Jumampo. Parang itatype niya na si Sister Maricar ka agad. Diba? Yan, palagi tayo, we want to climb the ladder of success. We are very competitive. I want you to take a few seconds to look at this picture. Nakakatakot po ang ganyang mindset. Yung palagi tayong may ladder na, na ikaw nga naman tayo kay Quezon, nilalakdangan. Bakit? Kasi, pag may nauungusan tayo, let's say you are on top of the ladder. Titingin tayo sa likod natin, ay, ang dami ko nang napag-iwanan. Asenso na ako ngayon. May, ma, mayaman na ako ngayon. Di ba yan yung kanta, yung kanta ng, ano, bebuti nga, bebuti nga, bebebebebuti nga. No? Di ba? Ngayon ay big time na ako. Siguro ito mutul. Hindi na na makasunod yung mga bata. Yan yung kanta ng youth pa kami ni John Jumampo. 
ganyan tayo. Pag, pag nakakaungos tayo sa mga kabats natin, yumayabang tayo. Pagka naman tumingin tayo sa taas at nakita natin yung mga bandang nasa taas, kabats lang natin. Ano nangyayari? Nai-insecure naman tayo. Ba't sila ganun na? Brother Obet, pati ba sa lockdown may ganyan paligsahan? Siyempre, lockdown nga. Pero may Facebook kaya. Magtataka ka naka-lockdown, may mga kaibigan kang nasa ibang bansa. At hindi ito ano, hindi ito late post ha? Talagang nakakapunta sila sa ibang bansa, sa mga pasyalan, sa mga beach. OMG, paano nangyari yun? Naiinggit naman tayo. Napopromote, nakakakuha ng bagong degree. Bakit kaya? We are programmed by this world. Take note ha? This world, itong mundo, mundong ito, to aim for number one, to aspire for the top, to climb the corporate ladder. Ganyan tayo, ugaling kambing, ugaling king of the mountain, ayaw patalo. Kwentuhang mas magaling ang lolo ko dyan, forever and ever. Pati kwentong barbero, pati kwentuhang lasing, ganyan tayo. Bakit? Because this is the point. Leadership is viewed as control. Gusto natin, ayan no, sa pyramid ng buhay, you are on top, you are controlling a lot of people. Sorry sa mga followers ni Johnny Bravo, pero madalas ang pinopost natin sa social media, ang image na pinoproject natin, it's all about me. Ako, 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 si ako. At mapapansin nyo, sa interview ko sa two of the top psychologists in the country, I will not name them anymore. Hindi pala schizophrenia ang pinakamatinding problema sa psychological disorder. It has to be narcissism. Sobrang akong, akong, ako. At it, this will completely oppose the teaching of Jesus Christ that says, as important as self-love, it can never fulfill you. Yes, alagaan mo rin naman sarili mo. Hindi masama, hindi masamang maligo, mag-toothbrush, hindi masamang mag-workout, hindi masamang kumain ng healthy, hindi masamang makipagkwentuhan ka, one-to-one -one ka sa light group head mo. Pero no matter how beautiful it is, it will never fulfill you. Necessary, but won't lead to it, to, to uh, innermost fulfillment. What's the point? Ito yan. The deeper question really is, is there really a ladder in God's kingdom? Ayan na! Nagkakakluna ako, Brother Obet, but ganun yung one big message? Yung pakawalan ng hagdan na yan. Because is there really a ladder in God's kingdom? Basahin natin ang susunod na mga verses ng ating Matthew 18. Now, in, in verse number 2. He called the child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever, whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Nagtakang-takang-taka sila dahil nung humanap ng, ng model si Lord, ang pwinesto niya ay bata. At yan, yan ang itatanong ko. Brother Obet, tinanong pa na sa sarili, Brother Obet, ba't may bata dun? Ba't may bata sa eksena? Meron bang disciple si Jesus na bata? According to Chismisology Report, <laughs> madalas sila Jesus nag-iikot sa bahay-bahay. Uh, makinig ng mabuti ha. Pag ang bata, batang lalaki mo especially, tumungtong ng 7-year-old, ang bata ay mag-a-apprentice na. Walang eskwelahan pa na formal. If there are, it's very few. Now, the formal quote-unquote schooling at age 7 will be the profession of the dad. Ayan, Happy Father's Day. Pag edad ng pito, ang profession na ng bata ay assistant chulalay to the pinakamababa ng tatay niya. Kahit siya ang business owner, magiging servidor ang kanyang anak. Kaya pala, ngayon, ngayon it makes sense. Alam nyo, nakakatuwa mga tatay, no? dati galit na galit ka sa kanila, pag tumatanda ka, tumatalino mga tatay. <laughs> Ngayon naiisip ko, kaya pala ang tatay ko may ari ng junk shop. Pero tuwing, tuwing dadating yung maruruming plastic, maruruming mga kung ano-ano, 
oh, kung gusto niyo ng pera, may needs kayo sa school, magtrabaho kayo. Imagine mo kasama namin mga pahinante, naglilinis kami ng napakaruming plastic. Sobrang dumi, yung duming, maduming tubig, maraming mga lumulutang. Ano, ano yung mga lumulutang? Mga UFO. Alam niyo UFO? Unidentified floating objects. Hindi ko na i-describe kung ano yon. Ganun pala, tinuturuan ako ng tatay ko na kahit ikaw, anak ka ng may-ari, meron kang, meron kang degree, sa son of the owner, eh, hindi ka sasantuhin. Kailangan magtrabaho ka. Ganun din ang mga hudyo. Kaya, merong nahatak na bata si Jesus. Ah, ganun pala yun, Brother Obet. Yes. Ituloy natin ang talakayan. What does the kingdom of heaven mean? Ayan. Kaya sabi ni Lord, the kingdom of heaven is like this. Humila siya ng bata. E ano ba tong kingdom of heaven na to? Sa totoo lang, tuwing nababanggit to, kala natin ang kingdom of heaven, yung mga anghel, magliliparan, may mga lira, may mga may mga harpa, di ba? They are playing harps and they are playing music. Pwede, pero that is heaven. What is the kingdom of heaven? Is it the church? What if I tell you that there are church people who are not under the kingdom of God? Oh my gosh, brother Robert, baka uliin ka ng pulis dyan. Kahit na, sinabi ko na eh, posible na ang tao church o busy sa, sa pagsaserve, pero wala sa kaharian ng Diyos. Why? Because the kingdom of heaven is all about this. Kingdom was more an action than a place. Hindi siya lugar. Siya ay isang aktual na pagkilos, behavior, and commitment. When God reigns, that's the kingdom. Tanong, is God reigning in your company? Is God reigning in your fatherhood? Is God reigning in your motherhood? Is God reigning in your studies? Is God reigning even in your pleasure? Yan ang tinatawag na kingdom of God. Kapag lumalago na ang paghahari ng Diyos, yan ang kingdom of God. So much so, I have friends or senior pastors from other churches. Alam niyo, sabi na Brother Obet, yung kingdom of God, isang buong teachings namin yan, is, is your life really under the lordship of Jesus Christ? Under the kingship of the Lord? Kaya, tan, kaya dahil sa kingship na yan, that's another question. Is God king in your life? Si Lord ba ang hari ng iyong finances? O pagka walang nagbabantay sa iyo, nakatahimik ka, hawak ang cellphone mo, add to cart ka ng add to cart. Pwede naman, brother Obet, add to cart lang na add to cart, di naman binibili. <laughs> o, oh, libangan mo lang kasi nung kwenikwento mo na, laki palang lalarga. Is God king of your family? Is God king of your habits? Is God king of your profession? Pag ang tao may Diyos, kahit walang nanunood sa Kanya, Very effective siya. Very committed siya sa kanyang ginagawa. Tuloy natin ang discussion. Jesus came to build a kingdom with no ladders. Napakaganda nito. Kaya, pa, kaya pala ang one big message, throw away the ladder. Itapon yan. Kasi ang kaharian ni Kristo, walang hagdan-hagdan. Walang hierarchy. At patutunayan natin siya. siya, siya. Unang patunay. Yan. First, Jesus treated the bottom dwellers as his VIPs. Let's face it, brothers and sisters, especially mga kagaya kong nasa corporate world, especially mga kagaya ko rin na na-expose sa show business. Sa totoo lang, nakaka, nakakahumaling yung may kaibigan kang sikat, may kaibigan ka sa show business, may kaibigan kang kakilala, may kaibigan ka na full access ka. Not to mention may kahawig kang artista. Nakakahumaling. Pero si Lord, iba yung paradigm niya. Jesus treated the bottom dwellers as his VIPs. Tayo, pag alam na, may tatawag mahalagang tao, drop everything, tatawagan. Si Jesus, yun yung kanyang priority. Pag pumasyal si Jesus sa bahay natin, dere-derejo sa kusina, ang gusto niyang kausapin, yung mga kasamahang bahay natin. Yung mga kasambahay natin. That's the difference with the disposition of God and our disposition. Ganun siya. Doon siya gustong kumunik. Kaya, if you have an inclination to the poor, God be with you. Basta, iba ang treatment siya sa mga bottom dwellers. Hindi siya mapanlait. Hindi siya mapangmata sa ibang tao. Why? This will explain. Jesus was not pointing to the child's personality, but the child's powerlessness. 
unless you become like little ch- children. Yan ang kanyang bias sa mga mabababa. Yes, may potential yung bata na maging may-ari ng bahay. Pero sabi niya, admit your powerlessness. Pag-usapan natin to. Yan. Sobrang tinutukan. Bakit natin pag-uusapan? Nung ako ay nag pa lang as an, a drug addict, Brother Robert, wala kaming kinalaman niya. Hindi kami naging drugs. We are not drugs before. <laughs> Hindi kami naging drug addict. Eh paano yung mga, mga self-defeating habits natin? I was healed because the very first step, yung pinakaunang tungtungan sa 12 Steps program ay to admit your powerlessness. Ang pag-amin na wala kang laban sa pagda-drugs. Wala kang laban sa bad habits mo. At pag naamin mo na na wala kang laban, doon ka nagkakaroon ng panlaban. In your powerlessness, God will become your power. Whoever receives one child such as this, in my name receives me. Hindi niya lang pinapaamin yung kababaan ng bata. Pinapaamin niya rin na, Hoy, tanggapin niyo rin yung mga walang kapangyarihan. Siya nga pala, pagka si Jesus umiksena sa kahit na anong aspeto ng buhay natin, yung level number five, yun yung pupuntahan niya at paglilingkuran, re-respetuhan niya mga may hirap, ang mga may sakit, ang mga makasalanan, da- dahil tinatrato niya ang mga mabababa bilang God containers. May daladalang God. We, we serve, we serve uh, He cares before. Mga abandoned na mga bata. Jesus is there. Every week we go to Anawim. Jesus is there in the lolas and lolos. Si Jesus nandun siya sa pinaka hindi mahilig mag-share sa light group natin. Si Jesus nandun siya sa pinaka insecure na member ng ating feast life. Si Jesus nandoon sa organization natin kung saan yung bre- miyembro walang boses. And that's the priority of Jesus Christ. And that must be also our priority. My kingdom isn't about self. But it's all about service. Again, I will reiterate what I said a while ago. I talked to two psychologists, top psychologists of the Philippines, and they confirmed that the narcissist, narcissistic people are the worst of all psychological disorders. Pero sabi na Brother Obet, pero ito nagsasaksid itong mga ito. Ha? Nagiging sikat. Pero Brother Obet, we tell you that the narcissists are the most desolate people in the world. They are the most sad, saddest. Nag-iingat ako sa saddest kasi bisaya nga, di ba? Saddest, pinakamalungkot. Dahil hindi umiikot ang iyong mundo sa iyong sarili. Walang sino man nang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. Your king is a servant. The kingdom of God is never about being the center of attraction. It's dispersing the power so that you can serve. Because in the kingdom of God, service is power. If you want to take down notes, wala sa slide yan. It's just an inspiration. In the kingdom of God, service is power. Hindi siya domination is power. No, it's never like that. Another expression that we have a Lord who has no ladders. Jesus went down to the bottom of the ladder. Hindi lang niya nirespeto yung nasa baba. Pumunta siya pa siya sa pinakailalim. Brother Obet, gaano kalalim? The Almighty walk among us. That's one. You have no idea how it is to become a God. And you left, you left heaven just to be Jesus Christ. Imagine he did all the miracles as a man who believes in God. Not as a God. I'm going to say it again. He did all the miracles and the love. Uh, the last verse of, uh, of, John, of the Gospel of John, pag sinulat mo lang lahat ng ginawa ni Lord, you can never fool. You, 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 you could fill the world with so much goodness at lampas pa. How did he do that as a human being? That's not, not the question. The question is, what are we doing as human beings who love God? That's the very basic. God walked with us. Pero ito na. Dito niya tayo tinatawag. God designed you, me, you, all of us to sacrifice ourselves to others. Hindi tayo, hindi tayo for here. We are to go. To go and serve people. Bigyan natin ng linaw. 
Gustong gusto ko tong hierarchy na to. Nauna mga Romans, nagaharing uri, nagtatak sila, tapos may political puppet sila, mga Jewish, and so on, small entrepreneur, poor, sick, sinners. Merong, merong ilang beses pang sobrang, sobrang, sobrang baba to the point na yan, oh, lumampas ka na ng second page, mas mababa pa dun. Anong tawag dun? The, the bottom mess of all level, ala, napaiyak ako, is a crucified criminal on the cross. So si Lord hindi lang nakibagay sa mga mabababa. Siya yung naging pinaka, pinaka mababa. Ang pinaka mababang parusa sa mga blasphemous people ng Jewish, you will be stoned to death. Pati yun, hindi kinuha ni Lord. Ang kinuha niya ay pang kriminal na kamatayan ng isang Romano. And that is to be crucified. I recall a story. Meron daw isang tao na nalaglag sa balon. Hindi siya maka, makaahon. Dumaan daw ang isang pare. Sabi niya, ipapakumpisal na lang kita, anak. At busy ako. Sabi niya, sige, father. Nangumpisal siya. Dumaan yung pastor. I'm gonna preach the word of God to you. Nag-preach dun sa tao. Ilan ang nagdaan? Puro pangaral, puro pangaral. Alam nyo, pag si Jesus ang dumaan sa balon, walang salisalita. Tatalon siya sa balon at iaangat ka. Tatalon siya sa balon at iaangat ka. Brother, sister, are you in rock bottom? Are you in your rock bottom moment? Know that God will go down to your level, even lower than your level, so that He can lift you up. You are at rock bottom and it's good. Because when you are at rock bottom, there's no way to go but up. And you will realize that when you are at rock bottom, Jesus is the rock at the bottom. And He will raise you up. He will never be insecure that His son, His daughter, is rising up. We continue on. Let's always discern, Brother Obet, maganda yung talak- talakayan mo. But you know, my humanity sometimes kicks in. Yung kayabangan, pumihirit, yung pagiging selfish, lahat naman tayo. Kaya itong ultimate discernment, every day, this is the why. The why discernment. Why do you do what you do? Bakit ka nagsasalita ng ganyang pamamaraan? Bakit ka nagbibihis ng ganyan? And you will know in the secret recesses of your heart. Wala kang kausap. Halimbawa, why do you dress up that way? And ultimately, you, in the presence of God, you may be honest dahil gusto, kang, gusto mong mapansin ka ng iba and you dress that way. You speak that way to impress. Are we living to impress or to influence for good? We should take the next path and that is to influence people. We're winding down the road, my dear friends. If you follow Jesus Christ, there should be no ladder in your heart. Grabe, aray ito, aray. Sa totoo lang, hindi natin maalis na meron tayong pinipili. Sometimes we would like to choose people na ka-level natin. I don't want to talk to people who speak straight Tagalog. You know, I want to be in speaking, you know, yung kahit maka-taglish. Naalala ko nung live pa tayo sa Bali. Alam niyo ba may mga umaate? Hindi ko na sabihin sa inyo. <laughs> Pagtapos, Brother Abit, the talk was great, but I hope next time more English, please. Oh my gosh! May ganun talaga eh. Sa puso natin, meron bang hagdan? Meron bang ladder? The one big message is, throw away the ladder. Tapon mo na. Walang stereotyping. Walang kinikilingan. Walang pinaparisan. Lahat pantay. In the name of justice and equality and sometimes equity. What is the difference between equality and equity? Equality, you give them all the same. Kung may dala kang biko, tigi isang hati ng biko. But equity is different. Yung mga busog na, wag mong padala ng biko. Yung mga mas nangangailangan, kahit dalawang pieces ng biko, that's equity. To the ones who needed most, give more. I'm gonna preach it again. To those who needed more, give more. Especially you have more. We have enough to eat. We have enough for us. Throw away the ladder. 
I'm winding down the road, my dear friends. We must not operate that life is so much a ladder because it's not. Life is not a ladder. Life is all about electrocardiogram. Look at this screen. Yan bu ang daloy ng puso mo. Huwag ka lang magpa-flatline, kapatid. Ang buhay, ang buhay kristyano, hindi siya hagdan na andito ka, umaasenso ka. Buhay, pwedeng ganyan. Pero minsan, di ba, nag struggle ka? Tapos magsasaksid ka, ang taas-taas, only to fall down. And then you struggle again. Ika nga ng mga waray, struggle. This is life. Kaya pala ECG ang buhay. This is life. Eh, Brother Robert, what about significance in life? This is significance. And I want to call it servant leadership. Kaya, the, the pyramid form is all about control. But the inverted pyramid is all about empowerment. And that's what we do. We give empowerment to the poor, to the needy, to those who needed it most. Yan ang dahilan, kaya sabi ni Bamboo, Totoy gumising ka, balik pa rin ang tatsulok. At tulad mong dukha ang ilagay mo sa tuktok. Yan yung inverted pyramid. It's all about servant leadership. And I want to summarize what we have discussed. Alam niyo naman yun ang trabaho ko, to study complexities in life so that I can, I can give it in simple ways. Jesus called the child over, placed, their, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Yes, we talk about the powerlessness of the child, but Jesus was not just pointing out in, in the personality and the powerlessness of the child. He was also pointing at the potentialities of the child. Pag sinabi niya, unless you turn and become like little children, you must recognize your potentiality, not your excusitis. Because when you excuse yourself, you accuse yourself. Ano ba ang excusitis? Yung lahat ng sinasabi mo, huwag lang makapag-serve. Yung lahat ng sinasabi mo, huwag lang mag-lead ng life group. Yung lahat ng sinasabi mo, huwag lang mag-lead ng feast life. Eh, bata pa ako. Eh, matanda na ako. Eh, disabled ako. Eh, hindi ako nag english Eh, hindi ako nagtatagalog. When you excuse yourself, you accuse yourself. Jesus was focused on the powerlessness and the potentialities of the child. To summarize the scriptures that we have Read a while ago, unless you turn and become like little children, first we repent. Today there's so much inspiration, there's a need for us to repent. And become like little children, there's a call to reform. Baka masyado tayong matanda. Matanda na, oh, papabalik, pa, papabalik niya kami, papunta pa lang kayo. Ayaw ni Lord yun, pantay-pantay sa kanya walang hagdan. Repent, reform. Unless you turn and become like little children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. We must represent Jesus Christ. Again, we repent, we reform our lives, and we represent Jesus. I want to end by showing you a quote. Bakit ba pag naguhuli na, I, I feel the presence of God and I'm overwhelmed. Jose Maria Escriba is a very good author and a spiritual person. And praise God in my lifetime, this author that I've been following, Imitation of Christ and the Pharaoh, became a saint. At sabi ni Saint Jose Maria Escriba, the greatest male saint who ever lived was not a deacon, not a priest, not a bishop, not a pope, not a hermit, not a monk. He was a husband, father, and worker. Bakit, Brother Obet, si St. Joseph ni minsan hindi nagsalita sa Bible, pero bakit ginawang patron saint ng Universal Church? Because my dear brothers and sisters, not, not about our words, it's all about our witness. The life that we live for Jesus Christ. Let's make it our, the pattern in our prayer, to repent, to reform, and to represent Jesus Christ. Let's come before the presence of God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Lord Jesus, thank you for your word. Thank you that in Father's Day, we reflected on how beautiful it is to be a child of God. Thank you that we've heard in the Holy Mass, like father, like son. That St. Joseph would sleep because of full trust in you. And Jesus slept in the storm. Lord, forgive us. We allow the storms in life to bother us. We repent today. We repent. We change our mind. We change our heart and go back to you. Because in the kingdom of God, U-turn is allowed. We've gone too far away from you, Lord. But we notice you walking with us, following us. So we take a U-turn and repent. Today, Lord, let your Holy Spirit reform us, reform our hearts so that it will be aligned to your humility and your character. Without which, we cannot represent you. Lord, I want to pray for the people who are in Facebook Live and in Zoom. Make us your representatives so that we will be a Jesus to others. So that the Jesus that they will know is so much tangible in our lives. And today, Lord, even as we pray, we thank you for the fathers, our fathers, who have modeled Jesus Christ to us. And sometimes they would not even speak the word Jesus. But because of the good life, imperfect but good, we become like this person. We declare, God, that you will continue to change us, transform us, to become better people, to become the best for you. This we all declare in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's continue to worship the Lord. Praise to Jesus. We thank you, God. 